name is Courtney Griffith and I'm an off-site trainer with Golden Quest. Today I'm here with Esma OY9. She's an 11-week-old comfort retriever and she's been in training with me for three weeks. And today we're going to be going over what she knows and how to ask her for it. So for a sit, you're going to move your hand up like this. Sit. For down, you're going to do the same thing except go to the ground with your palm down. For stand, you hold a fist. Stand. There we go. Sit. Down. Stand. Good girl. Now for look. She did it when I said it. Um, you're going to just click and reward when she makes eye contact with you. Look. Good job. And for touch, you're going to have her hit the back of your hand with her nose. And you're going to click and reward when she does that. Touch. Touch. Good job. Now for recall, right now what we're doing is I'm just coming back. Come on. And letting her come to me and come along with me as I move. There we go. Good job. And for finish, come here. I move her into the correct position. Once she sits, I click in reward. And for heel, I am just rewarding her every couple of steps now. And I'm not keeping the food down by her. And when I stop, I expect her to sit. Good job. She's doing a really good job with that. And she's progressed really nicely with that in a pretty rapid amount of time. Um, for spin, you're just gonna move your arm in whatever direction it is you want her to spin. Good job. Now we've also introduced a rollover. And for that, I'm going to try to get this at a good angle for you to be able to see it. You're going to put her into a down, and then take your hand and rotate. Good job. Now this is one that I taught her pretty rapidly, but she's doing really good with it. Now I'm going to show it from this angle as well. You put her into a down. You have your hand like this. Oops. Down. And you rotate. Good job. She really likes that one. Good girl. Okay. Come here. For go to bed, I just walk over to the bed and I wave my hand over and tell her to go to bed. When she lays down, I click in reward. And for a stay, you're going to hold your hand up like a stop sign. Stay. And when you come back to her, you don't want her to pop up, so I hesitate for a second. When she doesn't pop up, I reward her. And a pat on the side and an excited okay is how we release. Okay, good job. <laughs> she usually gets pretty excited after that one. Now we've also been working on her stays on the floor. Down. Uh-uh, down. Stay. Good job. Okay. And that one's just, it's the same concept as on the platform bed. You're just doing it on the floor. And the reason why we consider that almost like two different things is because it's a different context for them. So they have to almost relearn stay on the ground because it's different. 
but she's understanding the difference in the context and understands that the command is the same, which is what we want. She's doing, <laughs> she's doing great. I am really proud of how well she's done this week. Um, and we've had a great three weeks together. I'm gonna be really sad to see her go. She's an absolute character. Um, her potty training and crate training are going great. Uh, accidents are very minimal. As long as she has a regular routine with some crate time throughout the day, regular potty breaks, um, and a pretty regular feeding and drinking schedule, you shouldn't have any problems out of that. Um, she's also, you know, she's still settling down quickly in the crate. She only is vocal for maybe one minute now instead of two minutes, which is a good thing. But I could not be happier with how well she's done over the course of our time together. And congratulations on your new pet.